Maine Warden Service took over the search in 2013. And in fact, for the people who watch the show on TV about Maine Warden, Warden Service, they had a special about this disappearance. And the guys were absolutely stumped. The day she disappeared, the clouds opened up and it rained heavy for three days. Now, as her husband would say, do that trail. Exactly where we were going to meet. She knew the pace she had to keep. All together, experienced hiker. She disappeared. Of that trail, and they came to the perimeter. Now, they covered a 4.2 square mile area near Lone Mountain and Mount Abram, and they called. Her. The head of the warden service called her disappearance mystifying. Now, her body was found almost two years later, October 14th of this year, outside of an area of Reddington Township, 28 miles from the primary... <laughs> but they covered this area, too, as well. Now, he, her body was found by a contractor doing survey work. This is the part, George, you're not going to believe. Doing survey work on property owned by the U.S. Navy. Now, why would the Navy own property in the middle of Maine wilderness? It was a survival, evasion, resistance, and escape school. There were huge signs completely around the property saying, stay out. And the majority of the property was fenced, and it was heavily guarded. When her body was found by a surveyor, he said he couldn't believe what he found, and he called NCIS, and they responded. Then they called the warden service because they thought it was some type of criminal element sure. or possibly somebody else missing. She was found on prohibited land. <laughs> main warden why she was found in that location. Now, it's two years after she disappeared. She's essentially bones at this point. And the main medical examiner say, said she died from a lack of food, water, and exposure, which is a complete lie. She had a backpack. She had food. She had supplies. How are you going to tell if somebody died from lack yeah. of food and water when they're all bones? Well, and she ended up 20-plus miles away from where she disappeared. Yes. Which is bizarre. Bizarre. Does anybody ever report that these individuals, that they hear them screaming or yelling or help me or anything like that? So there were people that they surmised were within two miles or less of Geraldine when she disappeared. 